what Notre Dame has got to do is exactly the opposite of what they did last week against Miami. Miami has a top passing team in the country. Air Force has a top rushing team in the country. So it's been a week of transition in terms of preparation. You didn't even practice with the football that week. Um, you, were, you just had to tackle everybody. Um, people were responsible for, for, for certain positions. We just had to make sure that, that every person on offense, meaning the, the running back or quarterback, uh, was taken care of. And so that's kind of really how you defend against the wishbone is just, you know, you have to have good players, but just make sure that they have their responsibility at every play. Dallas will keep it. Dallas with a lot of running room. D. Dallas was, for Air Force, one of the best quarterbacks I've seen. They can run the option and then also pass the ball. And he did that really well. I knew that they were going to be well prepared for us because they ran the option, we ran the option. But um, our guys were bigger than their guys. Big hit, fumbled football, Notre Dame recovers. Stan Smagala with the hit. We knew that if we, if we stopped them early, then hopefully they wouldn't run that thing, they'd have to pass the ball. It was just a, such a challenging, complex offense. Now, we had the guys, but it was still a headache to play. Thrown for a loss by Todd Light. The second half of the season is more of, are we coming together? Or everyone in sync with everyone? Do we have to go back and start off? Because what you do to get where you're at now, right now, it starts in the spring. No one really let down. Bryce to throw. Going deep for Waters. Touchdown! There was no bad chemistry. Everything was good. And the Irish have a 41 to 13 lead. That team was still intact with what we were going to accomplish that year.